What's going on everybody? It's YTG here with a video for Diablo giving you guys a physical damage demon hunter build. Um this build's not yet fully complete, but I'm going to I'm just going to show you what I have here and it's just going to be a pretty cool build and it's all related on the unhallowed set. So if you don't like the unhallowed set, might as well just leave now unless you're unless you're cool and you want to stay and check out what how good this build is it, it's it's practically i would say the build compared to other other things is like eight out of ten because nat's builds the thing going around now it's the best build for highest greater rifts and everything so this this builds mainly just for farming your t6 rifts and farming your up to t10 the within the next patch um you can get a lot of damage out of this build. You can get 1.5, 1.6 bill crits on your multi-shot and everything. So I'm going to get into the build really quickly here. And we're going to start off showing you guys, obviously, the unhallowed set, which I have the Hellwalkers with shot damage rolled into them. I have the unhallowed plates with more, uh, sorry, it has a vase of fire right now. I'm trying to roll in what I believe is, uh, what I believe is, I forget, I can't, I can't remember. Which is a vase of fire, trying to roll a vase of fire into that. And then I got a witching hour, for obvious reasons, because it's the best damage belt to get for Demon Hunter if you are using multi-shot. Um, then I got, obviously, chest with rolled in hatred regen because this build does lose a lot of hatred really quickly even though i have not enough hatred 150. i got the life gem rolled in here just for some extra uh, health um you can put a cooldown reduction gem or any any gem you prefer because well it doesn't really matter unless you're doing greater rifts and you need to have more health i don't i don't think you really need health because you're gonna get one shot anyways so Moving on, I have a Blackthorns amulet, and the reason why I have this Blackthorns is because it has physical damage rolled onto it, and it's really great for um, performance six rift uh, clearing and stuff like that. Because you're you bo you boosted your like physical damage by twenty percent, and that's just a lot of extra damage. Now moving on to wrists, I have two sets of wrists here. I'm just trying to throw in, try to make different things, put different things in, and trying it out. This, they both have uh, physical damage on them, so they're both really good wrists to use. But um, I don't really have anything that's too good for this build yet. Um, let me know in the comments if you have a specific set of wrists uh, that are really good. And I will uh, probably try to use them later on. And moving on, we have, um, obviously, the last pieces of the set which are the hands and the shoulders and focus and restraint with zeal stone of vengeance and the bane of the powerful now to get all the damage for this you're obviously going to be using the unhallowed set six passive so you're going to want to get discipline rolls and as much things as you can now unfortunately my odyssey zen is very good but only had a nine of 12 discipline but it's still a great bow 3500 damage almost and it is just a beast and destroys so i'm loving the bow and uh an optional uh necklace sorry that you can change into uh i use a uh, hov or and i have the gogok of swiftness on it and i'm trying to rank that up right now my HOV is not really good because it doesn't have a higher crit damage roll into it, but it works out to be a, a pretty decent thing because you get the clones that run around for, you for a little bit while you're in a greater rift. This is really good for a greater rift. And so also we have the holy point shot, which is one of the only quivers that rolls physical skill or physical damage into it 
So it's a really good quiver for the time being without the patch. The new patch will have the multi-shot uh, double hit, and I'll be putting that uh, quiver in this build once uh, once the, uh, the item comes out. And um, for abilities and skills and such like that, we will show you right now. I have Evasive Fire as my primary to gain that extra um, hatred regen when I'm firing because you're going to be using it a lot and it's going to do a lot of damage because it is a hatred regening ability. Um, secondary, I am just using Archery with the um, the uh, full broadside uh, rune on it to get that extra damage. Um, that's really great. I don't know it. It looks like it has a wider arc to me, but I don't. I don't think that's true. But let's just move on. So I have smoke screen displace, uh, displacement to get around uh, certain mobs and such like that uh, to position myself better. And I have preparation with invigoration. Sorry, um, I have that just for the extra fifteen percent discipline. Obviously, for the build, it is crucial to have it. Um, I have Wolf Companion. You can also switch Wolf Companion for the uh, Bat Companion if you are losing a lot of hatred and you want more hatred per second. That's always a good thing to use. Um, you can use Guardian Sentries if you want to. I like it just because of the damage uh, reduction that it gives you. Um, a lot of uh, winged assassins. If you if you're in a rift, if they just jump on you with one HP, even though you've killed them, and they still do the damage. So it's good to have like them just put down, just so you can have a little bit more protection when stuff like that comes at you. They also do quite a bit of damage because they are physical, and you're doing about 30 mil, 40 mil damage crits with the sentries, which is really cool. Also, the wolf, the wolf itself does a lot of damage, does 18 mil crits and stuff like that. Moving on to the passive skills I have on right now. I have uh, archery because of the 8% damage increase to my bow. Um, steady aim because you are going to be far away, so you're going to always have that 20% damage increase always up. And blood of vengeance. Um, there's lots of health globes uh, being dropped in T6 rifts, so I use that. Um, when I'm using, when I'm going in a Raider Rift, I will be using, I will be using um, awareness to make sure I don't get instead by a lot of the enemies that can just do that too. And my last one, I am using ambush because the first crucial, the first hit should kill enemies when you are playing with. Uh, in T6 rifts, and so the 40% additional damage is really great to have because you will be instant killing. So that's it for the build. So I will now go into a rift just to show you guys how the how everything stands out with uh, everything on. And um, I like these braces a little bit better. So it's on, and we're gonna go in. Okay. So, fortunately, critting is not really the best thing in the world here because I only have a 47% or 49% crit chance, which I wish it was actually higher than that, but you can't really get everything you want in your items at the time. So, so, basically, gameplay is just to sit back, use multi shot, use your wolf before you engage enemies and uh, get that extra damage and throwing in a couple auto attacks while you are uh, in between the multi-shot shots and uh, you will be insta killing elites at t6 so that's really good uh it goes up to t8 uh, i've tried this on uh the pvr pvr i forget what it's called the pr i don't know but uh, you do insta kill elites at up to torment eight with my build I have on right now, um, which needs a lot of improvement. So 
T10 is very possible for this build with the new items. But you are clearing rifts quite fast. I'm not even uh, trying to speed this up by uh, beating around and I, uh, my displacement to uh, get get to uh, mob packs a bit faster. But you do insta kill and. It Good. Hopefully that's the focus. Or restraint. I don't know, but we're gonna be moving on to the Rift Guardian pretty soon and um, that'll be the end of the video. So Rift Guardians, very easy. Two shotted basically. I did throw a couple auto attacks in there, but uh, the build's very solid. Um, I still give it a rating 8 out of 10. I would not give it a perfect rating uh, 10 out of 10 because it is lacking a lot of crowd control, which is crucial for greater rips. So, anyways, guys, um, I hope you have uh, you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys enjoy the build. Um, sorry, this commentary is very um, I would have to say unprofessional because I haven't done this in a while. So. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.